Good day viewers, you are welcome to today's math class. So let's solve this Oxford entrance exam portion. Now, first we will need to write this 18. So we have s raised to the power of 3 minus s raised to the power of 2 is equals to, we can rewrite 18 as 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 raised to the power of 2. 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27, while 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9. So 27 minus 9 is going to give us 18. So let's bring this to the left hand side. We have s raised to the power of 3 minus 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus s raised to the power of 2 is equals to 0. So now we can see that these are in similar terms. So we'll group it together. Plus this also are equals to 0. Using the property, the property of the product rule, that's what we are going to use to expand this. And this is it. Look at it clearly. A is power of 3 minus b is power of 3 is equals to open bracket a minus b open bracket a square plus a b plus b squared so also the difference of two square if you have a square minus b square it will be open bracket a minus b open bracket a plus b so that's what we're going to use so let's start with this we have s minus 3 to bracket open bracket s squared s times 3 that's 3x plus t squared that's 9 and for this second side we have a difference of 2 square which is open bracket 3 minus x open bracket x 3 plus x equals to 0 so now Let's look at what you can do to make one of these terms in both sides equal. So now we can factor out minus sign here. If we factor out minus sign, we have minus 3 plus x. Open bracket x squared. So, sorry, minus 3 minus open bracket 3 minus x. Because minus times 3 is going to give us minus 3, minus times minus x is going to give us plus x. Do you understand? Plus 3, s plus 9, plus 3 minus Subscribe. x. And here we have 3 plus x is equals to 0. So if you factor out the common times, we have 3 minus s, 3 minus x here, so factor it out. Yeah, therefore we have open bracket minus don't forget this minus sign is going to open this bracket so we have minus minus times s square minus s square minus times minus 3s that's minus 3x minus times plus 9 that's minus 9 and here we have we are left with 3 plus x is equals to zero therefore tv minus x is equals to zero and also let's add this together so we have minus x squared minus 2x and minus 6 is equals to zero so let's find the first value of x. The first value of s is equal to 3. If you collect like times, s is equal to 3. This is the first value of s. Looking for the two more values of s using the quadratic equation, quadratic formula. Rather. x is equal to minus v plus or minus root v squared minus 4ac over 2e. So a in this question is equal to minus 1, b 
is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 6. So we have minus 1 plus or minus root minus 2 squared minus 4 bracket minus 1 and minus 6 over 2 open bracket minus 1. So guys, we have x is equals to minus 1 plus root 20 root minus 20 root minus 20 over 2 times minus 1 that is minus 2 and recalling this that root negative 1 is equals to iota that is an imaginary number i it looks like i but it's called iota so now we have minus 20 here so we have minus 1 plus or minus root minus 1 root 4 root 5 if you multiply all this together is equals to 20 over minus 2 so we have we have this as iota and also we have root 4 as 2 we have minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 5 to watch iota more subscribe over minus 2 therefore the remaining two values all the values of x all the values of x is equals to theory minus 1 plus 2 root 5 iota over minus 2 and minus 1 minus 2 root 5 iota over minus 2 guys please like share and subscribe bye bye